Tasman. First minute of this game in a defensive capacity and they've looked pretty sound. Manawa two, of course. Stu Ross, the coach, helped out by Robert Jones, the coach of that Fielding High School girls first 15 mil. 48 and 0 this season in all forms of rugby. Unbelievable. Look at that straight away. Selika Winiata plays first five in the 15 game, sometime fullback, and she's got some pace. Top try scorer in the NPC. And she scores first for Manawa two against Tasman. Moana Forbes. She's a really good, steady player. Three and a half minutes. So, Greg. To Winiata. Oh, this is nice. Glides through the hole. A bit of a step, and she beats O'Callaghan. And Winiata over for her second, making it 10 0 Manawa 2 over Tasman. Oh, just a wonderful read from Salika Winiata Mel. Manawa 2 very patient in possession of the ball. Out to Kokang. Goss. Christina Su, nice little pop in there to Shakira Baker, the big powerful winger. No one's near her, so. It's pretty much an easy stroll over for, for Manawa 2's third try. And that's given a little bit of space to Moana Forbes, who looks to take her chances, and she's got the ball away to Ange Cotton. Oh, defence. Is she held up? She is. Great. How about that, that defence? That's all about determination. Easily, or the easy thing to do, Mal, was just to give it up, wasn't it? But they stayed in it, did the Manawa 2 defenders. When he after we've seen her impressive in attack, got herself underneath the ball. And then over the top came Cocaine. And then saved the try. Just brilliant. Salika Winiata, what a game she's having. And I think Ange Cotton won't be too happy with herself because she's pretty much over the try line. As once again Winiata gives O'Callaghan a bit of a shove. So Manawa 2 win the ball back from that scrum. Take it up. Cocaine. Hutan is there. It's good work. Cocaine. Oh, oh. Lovely dummy there from Sue. She is clever whenever she has that ball in hand. She offers something up and this time she collects the try. Oh, how good was that dummy Mel? Christina Sue. Won't see too many dummies better than this. Have a look. She put, shows it, drags it back in, puts a step on, puts the pedal down, and finishes off. That's classy rugby. Classy rugby. Stu Ross and Ian Cocaine, the manager on the sideline. Appreciated that. Tasman management, not so much. Who might even miss out on the final if they don't win their next two games. Number two. With Goss putting it down to Winyata. Nice step. She's great to watch. And so Manawa two on the attack. Very close. Still got possession. Anderson from Waikato trying to get in there, muck it up. It is untidy. Goss, Goss, can she slide over? Can she slide over? No. Katamaki pushes the ball back. Winiata's in there. Oh, this is messy. And off the ground, playing it. Goss. 
Ross is telling her teammates to calm it down, but they've taken a quick tap anyway, and Gilbert goes back to the left. Oh, nearly there. As always, Winniata saves it. Goss slowing it down slightly. Ball was ruled up. This time, is that a try? That is a try. So Goss is over. So coming up, we go back to the women's action. Auckland taking on Manawa 2. The final round robin games for the ladies. And then Canterbury taking on Tasman. And we finish up with Waikato playing Taranaki. So, coming up, a crucial game for Auckland. Waves there, Lake Wapitipu, because they take on Manawa 2, who find themselves at the top of the ladder. Auckland tied on points in second, but in reality, third behind Waikato, so this is a must-win situation for a side packed with Black Ferns and New Zealand Sevens representatives. Nine of them against Manawa to the surprise package so far. Tell you what, Mel, Tyler Nathan Wong gone. Very badly bruised him last game out. Leanne Thompson almost concussed, but she had a collision with Portia Woodman. This team has beaten itself up for two straight days, and Manawa 2 looked good. Lovely, lovely take. Very rare you will see a Manawa 2 side getting beaten up at the breakdown. They are the most well-drilled breakdown team in this competition. They have proven that. A lot of these girls coming through that fielding high school system, they know their jobs. Auckland have come to play. Mona Lisa Codling, Anna Richards have identified if you attack them at their... Str Is the captain... Was the captain of Auckland. Oh, great clear out, Manuel. Holding on the call, Mel, but just look at the energy they've brought to this game. It's where they want to be. So they, Manua 2, spin it out to the right hand side. Winnie Win Arta, Winnie Arta. Has McAllister got the pace upon her? And no, she doesn't. And just like that, the game is evened up. Five ball, Manua 2 in Auckland. How quick is Salika Winnie Arta? There was nothing on. It was a good break. She took that pass. She burned Kayla McAllister. She is rapid. Salika Winniata, what a great Manawa 2 try. Ian Cocaine, Sada of Amy, team manager. Vane Gregg in the background waiting for her entry to the game. This is what this team can do. Now they don't have the names like the Aucklands and the Waikatoes in this tournament, but what they have are some big players who know when to make the most of their opportunities, and this young lady is one of them. Just look at that great line she hit though, Sumo. And Kayla McAllister in the act of diving has left the field with the blood bin. She's been uh, replaced by Hufunga. Looks like a big improvement is LaVia. Passes it off to Aitanu again, who's really stepped up in this game. It's Nawati. And the tackler didn't release Nawati. So it's stop start at the moment. But Yellow card to Malfa Manawatu chucking the ball away. Right, well, this could change things dramatically. Six on seven. Let's see what happens. As Auckland spread it to the right. Here's Hufunga. Nice cut there. Defense is onto it. And Winniata, as always. She's like a fly you can't get rid of. Do you know, just I'm so impressed with the organization of that Manawatu defensive line. They know they're a woman down, but they just talk to each other. They come out and they stay linked, and that's so important. So Manuel takes it to the line, gives it to Lavia, and Hufunga gets an opportunity on the left-hand side, but she's pushed out over the sideline, and that is not a result that Auckland wanted. Great defensive play to bring the half to a close. So Manawatu start off the second half with the ball in hand. They'll let it bounce, so that means they're going to have to attack from deep within, behind their 22. Still one down, Manawatu. Player in the bin, it's Christina Sue. And so what can Hutana do? Well, 
quite a lot, it looks like. She's tripped up, but she made the break. Woodman getting in there. They just do this so well, Manawatu. And Baker nearly on the outside of Lavia, and then she's taken care of by Aitunu. Aitunu's been impressive. She really has, but it's not enough to upset the green and whites because they continue their attack. Hutana. See there the Auckland player. Oh, Straight over the top, just clumsy, wasn't it, from Ngawati? Here's Winniata. Oh, stop it! Oh, she knew it. There was a big open space. And just like a New Zealand touch player, she scoops it, goes over. And Manawatu just making life not easy for Auckland. Well, important. Well, if Auckland do not respond right now, and they've made an error and lost possession. And once again, Winiata is in play. She gets it out to Hutana. It just seems that everything Manawatu do, they manage to retain it. He's singing the anthem because it is the final of the women's national champions. We've been had a national champion of the sevens for 10 years. And it's Manawatu taking on Waikato. Manawatu come here unbeaten. Waikato, well, they went down to Manawatu. <laughs> Ladies, both teams bet. Make more of an effort, yeah? Trim your peer on it in that way if you're a bad driver, but still. So big after a strong contribution. Sits Touch. down and Amy Cocaine. Touch! Sit! Fielding high school player. So the whole heap of sisters are out here. This is China. Take the line on, gives it to Carla. Nice bend there. Looks for the pop up to China Hohepa. That ball cleaned up just. And it's a fight in the mall. And it looks like Goss might have won the battle. As Winniata relieves some pressure from Manawatu. Look at the pace. And she is chasing hard. She keeps going. Beautiful soccer skills. Oh, a massive boot from the crowd. They aren't happy. It's a penalty try. Point. Yes, they've played as a team in this tournament. And still, the Waikato girls attempt to put some points on the board. And Hohepa, Carla Hohepa, oh. is the perfect person to do it. And she puts the gas on, a bit of a bend. Stands up again, not held by the tackler. Who's just talking to her teammates, organising the play. And it was a dummy cut. And then it ended up being another cut, which when he... Yeah, well done. Back one, more effort. This time they come to the right here. Protect the ball. So, Stay up, play close on. quarter attack from Waikato ends up being turned over by no. Sarah Goss. How many times has she done that? You're eight in the side. Not only in this Mine's game. Here. But throughout the two days, less than 30 seconds to go. Have a rest as Goss. It's a beautiful off the top ball down to Sue. And Goss is right there to reap the benefits of her own fantastic take in the year. Manawatu, just awesome. That's an appropriate finish for Manawatu. They finish in class. And a delight on the sideline, as you would expect. They take out. The tournament title and thoroughly deserved. Well done, Manawatu.